What if we couldn't create new memories? There would be nothing to base our decisions or even our personalities on. Everything that makes us who we are, from how we remember to how we think, act, and feel, relies on our brains being in working order, which means that the cells that make up our brains, called neurons and pictured here with long branches reaching out, also need to be working properly. Now, healthy neurons communicate with one another through chemical signals, and our memories are just well-rehearsed conversations between neurons. The more often that one of these conversations is repeated, the stronger that memory becomes because the neurons involved physically change so that they can communicate more effectively. So all of your favorite memories, the ones at the core of what make you who you are, boil down to a group of neurons that communicate really effectively with one another because those neurons have become hypersensitive to chemical changes in one another. I'm studying how we create memories in familiar environments or contexts. Are the chemicals necessary for generating our first memory in a given context the same or different than the chemicals necessary for generating our second? I answer this question using mice. First, I train them to find a reward in a given context in a, different, in a given location, like the one pictured here. And then I block one of the chemicals that we know is necessary for learning in unfamiliar environments. And I retrain the mice to now find a reward in a different location in the same context while I record their neurons using a tiny microscope that sits just on top of their brains. Already, we've seen that mice with this chemical block are able to learn the new reward location, which suggests that different chemicals are necessary for learning in familiar versus unfamiliar environments. Now, answering this specific question within the field of neuroscience is important because we make memories in all sorts of different environments, familiar and otherwise. And it's the combination of these memories that make us who we are. These memories are invaluable, and we spend billions of dollars a year on everything from brain games to vitamins to medications, all in an effort to protect these memories and, in turn, what makes us unique. But we still have fundamental questions about how these processes work in the first place, like how do we learn in familiar versus unfamiliar environments? Answering this question not only informs treatments for individuals who experience memory impairments, but also helps all of us to understand what exactly makes you, you? Thank you very much.